I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Empire Tarot. Yes, I am back doing your collective love readings. I will be here daily to do these love readings for you, any and all signs. All of you are welcome. Please do smash the like, subscribe button. If you are a new subscriber, if you are returning, welcome. So happy to see you all back here again. I will be uploading between 9 and 9.45 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to get a personal reading, there will be a link in the description box below. Okay. Let's get into this. Okay, Collective, let's get into your reading for October 24th through November 24th. See what the messages are for you. Girl with a snake date. And let's see what else is showing up here. You also have Hand of Cards. Okay, interesting. Let's see what's going on. Girl with a snake. Empath and Narcissist Paradigm. Being charmed or used, enable boundaries. You've got date, meeting someone new. Um, see, dating, getting back out there, planning, setting a date, and hand of cards, not showing your hand. Okay, taking a chance. Hold on a second can't see with the glasses I have not taken oh yes taking a chance a risk being strategic options yeah not showing him and gambling okay you're taking a chance here collective on someone <laughs> that's very tempting tempting you with a snake okay be careful um you're, it looks like you're you're being lured in looks like you might be lured in yes 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 be very careful you might be lured in, lured, lured, lured in, lured in by someone who, um, by a snake, absolutely, who's not showing their hand, absolutely. Um, they're being kind of sneaky, little devious. Yes, um, being very strategic. Okay, yo, this is, this is a message here. Okay, I feel like, keep your wits about you. So you're dating somebody new. Yeah, look at this. Somebody coming in here with this Knight of Wands energy. What? Okay. Oh, yes. There. This is a love bomber. Oh, my gosh. Oh, all over you. Going to be all over you. This is not someone who is going to show indifference towards you at all. This person is coming in with, like, no restraint whatsoever. No absolutely no restraint all over you on fire like fuel to a f fuel to a fuel to the fire fuel to the fire yes and this is going to be <laughs> you're going to feel like on top of the world by this person coming in okay they're going to be all over you it's going to feel like magic for real um girl with the snake this kind of makes me feel like a snake charmer absolutely this is someone who is like a snake charmer that's it readings over good luck yeah this gives me snake ch snake charmer vibes oh look at this someone that has the um ability to tame the beast for sure look how good how smooth smooth criminal look how good this person is i mean this is a mighty lion look Look at that lion and look at her. She has the ability to just tame this wild animal. Control, strength, power. Oh my goodness, he or she. Like, like, this person is going to have you lapping up milk from the milk bowl for sure. Um, I don't know whether or not this is good or bad. I really don't. I really don't. But, I mean, you got empath and narcissist paradigm. There's definitely an energy of one is very subservient and one is very dominate, dominating. Dominant. Okay. So, there is, look, I'll tell you what. <clears throat> there's no equal give and take. 
in this. There's no equality in this connection here. And if you're all about equality, you're not going to find it here. This is, this is, one is ruling and the other is serving. 100%. There is no equality in this reading. This is not my advice. This is not anything else other than I'm just the messenger. And I'm just telling you, this is... This is the date card. This is meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, planning and setting a date. You are meeting someone new or there is someone new here who pretty much is, yeah, going to be taking control of this situation. Um, Ten of Swords in the reverse. Okay new start energy for sure new beginning happening here um okay for some of you this is a forgiveness situation so for some of you this is someone who is like let's fix the past all's forgiven let's start over but i'm taking the reins in the situation for others this is like a brand new thing that's happening okay um i kind of feel like this is someone though who this is a person who does not, cannot be defeated. This is their mindset. Like, I just cannot be defeated. If someone, if someone tries to defeat me, I will go elsewhere and I will win elsewhere. Okay. This is an, oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Like, this is a person that just does not hit rock bottom. They don't hit rock bottom. They don't. They don't ever, because they're in control. They don't hit rock bottom ever. They don't get humble. They don't um, bottom out. They just start over. They just have a new start. Does that mean they don't learn? They, they don't learn lessons? They don't. No, they don't. <laughs> they don't learn lessons. They just go and start elsewhere. Yes, that's the message I'm getting here. Could be a Leo for some of you. Yeah, this person, they don't like... They don't hit rock bottom and then are just like, oh man, I sure did learn. Like I got a knock to the head. I sure did. My ego, I sure did learn a lesson. Mm -mm. No, nope. uh, I'm just going to go start somewhere else. Screw it. That's the, that's the message I get. That's the energy I feel with this person. Okay. So I don't know. Is it a warning for you? Is it advice for you to pay attention to? Maybe this person is tremendously restless. They're not calm. They're not at peace. Okay. They're very secretive, and I feel like they, that six of swords in the reverse. This person just does not face their fears um, at all. Hmm. So I don't know if this person is a narcissist or they're an empath. I don't know what's going on, who this person is, but they're very secretive. They don't let other people know what's going on with them the devil is here they got a secret pack with the devil maybe i mean this person is like <clears throat> for some they do have like kind of a hold on their past as well so there might have been a past situation that they were in that they refused to accept um, you might find out about this if you start talking to them or if you're talking to them. They have a past situation that might have ended that they refuse to accept is, is over. So instead of just saying, accepting that it's over, or that it ended, they just go on to the next person. And they hold like, they refuse to move on from it. So they just go on, they just make a lateral move to the next relationship. Oh my goodness. This doesn't feel like it's something to even... Like, they got Hand of Cards, so they don't reveal very much, even with this High Priestess. They got some kind of toxic shit going on inside of them. I, I don't know. I don't really get too... I don't really get good vibes from this reading with this person. Yeah. They're kind of a fool. This person just feels like they're kind of, like, with the Fool card, just careless and messy. They just don't give an F. They're just kind of like, eh. 
I don't care. Wherever I hang my head is my home. I don't really care who gets hurt. I don't even care if I get hurt. Like, it's whatever. I have all these ideas and plans. Ew. I'm just following whatever I think is best. Whatever my ideas and plans are. It's just that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I don't really feel like, you know, whoever you are. There could be a Capricorn here. We do have Aquarius. We do have Cancer. Like I said, there's Leo. This is someone, okay, we got Scorpio. This is someone who will just get like, sure, I'll get married. Sure, I'll just move in with you. Like that's some, this is someone who will just do that. They put no forethought, heavy duty thinking into um, making big commitments. They're just very carefree. So if they're really carefree to make such major decisions, then they'll be very carefree to end major commitments, right? The way people come in is also the way they leave. So if this is someone that says to you that they want to get married and they don't put any thought into it, that like marriage is like a, a very long, deep, heavy commitment, they don't put much thought into it. They're just willy-nilly want to do it. That means that they won't put put much thought into divorce either. They just be like, goodbye, you know? And this is someone that I just feel like could easily cut it off. It's just as well. So um, if you're looking for something long-term, eh. <laughs> this, is, this just kind of feels to me like someone who is just very carefree, very careless, pretty much a loner. <clears throat> They'll travel the wor world by themselves. They don't learn their lessons. They just flit from one party to the next. Um, they're kind of like a bohemian or a nomad, or they're just somebody who maybe they just live a bachelorette or bachelor life. They just really don't really care. They have no one holding them back. They're kind of rebelling, I think, maybe. Um, from something to yeah it kind of feels that way so I don't know just kind of keep your eyes um, this I'm just looking at this <laughs> this is like someone who's a hustler I'm looking at these like gambling like they're a gambling man or a gambling woman you know like they're a hustler you gotta know when to hold them know when to fold them know when to walk away know when to run <laughs> <laughs> this is like I don't know you know like someone who's just like a gambler like they're in they're in one minute they're in town for a little while and then they're gone <laughs> like a night <laughs> I'm laughing because it I'm looking at I see an image of like Kenny Rogers in my head <laughs> it's just like a gambling man like you know old wild wild west kind of stuff going on here I mean maybe it's appealing or intriguing it's some women just kind of fall for that because they're this type of person who's like a hustler and they're unavailable and they get that bad boy, bad girl kind of energy. Um, they don't want any commitment. They're just all about themselves, you know. Um, but like I said, if, you know, if that's something that you like, like this person is not settled down type. Nope, 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 nope. So don't try and change them if that's your goal forget about it nothing you're gonna do to change that person and if you're not gonna try and change this person and you like this then it'll work because you got to kind of be that way yourself okay so you're the king of cups here um, actually that's the first court card so looks like it could be a water sign cancer Scorpio Pisces yeah, so that could be you, or it could be them. Yeah, this is someone who's... Yeah, they're just a lover and a player. They're just very lovely type of person. Usually the King of Cups in the Upright is a committed family man, but I guess they must have some aspects or placements where this person is non-committal. They're a bachelor or a bachelorette. They're just non-committal. They might have been committal before in their past, but it looks like now going forward they're just not they're kind of they're just traveling they're just busy doing their thing um so let me take a look at you what's your message okay yeah you're gonna stress yourself out trying to figure this out 
don't stress yourself out trying to balance things out and trying to figure this out. This person's up and down. You'll be on an emotional roller coaster with this person trying to like stabilize. Don't waste your time. Yeah, your wishes aren't gonna come true with this person. If you're trying if your wish if you're trying to have like all your all your um trying to have like wish fulfillment with this person, whatever that is, like have them forever and ever and then wake up to them every morning with a cup of coffee and the birds singing out on the porch, forget it. It's not gonna happen. This person will they'll leave you like um a rose on the pillow and a goodbye note and see you next year. That kind of energy. So um, don't stress yourself out with this. This is not the person. If this is resonating for you, obviously it's your message. If it's not, then either you don't want it to be or this is not the person that you are familiar with. Okay, yeah, because you're looking for this. You're looking for the, Some of you are looking for this. This is the emperor. The emperor is the most committed um full time yeah see this is some of you want this person to be this you're trying to turn this person into this and that's not who they are right um i'm just thinking they're giving me um remember legends of the fall very old movie with brad pitt this is your brad pitt here tristan tristan was a loner <laughs> this is tristan right here if you never saw that movie go watch it this is Tristan right here. Tristan cannot be. Tristan gonna die by the die by a bear out in the woods. Loner. Yeah. You're in love with a Tristan. You fall in love with a Tristan. And this is like Tristan's father. He owned that farm out there. And it look I don't know. Anybody see the movie? Am I here by myself? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so don't get upset. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, man. Yeah, this is, I, I'm, I'm reading Legends of the Fall right here, right now. This was that girl that was in love with Tristan. Don't be her. Don't be her. She was trapped. She was in love with his brother and got married, and then he died in the war. And then she fell in love with Tristan, and he broke her heart. And then she married Tristan's older brother. And then, oh, it was tragedy. It was just a tragedy. <laughs> She even looks like her, too. Oh, I will, I'm not going to watch that movie. But anyway, yeah, this person, I'm telling you, they're like a hustler. They're in and out. That's that's the message that I'm getting. You know, listen, not every story is going to be happily ever after because every story's got players and, all, and we've got different people that show up in the storyline you know, and this is this character here, you know, and I know some of you know who this character is, and some of you want to turn this character into the hero, and you can't, everybody's got a role, and they have to play the role, or else we don't have a story, we don't have a message, we don't have life, let people play the role that they're meant to play, you have a role too, and I just kind of feel like recognize people's roles in your life, and don't try to turn them into the hero. If they're not the hero, they're not not everybody's meant to be a hero. This right here, whoever this is, whoever this person is in your life, this is your Tristan. Let them be the Tristan and leave it be. If that's not for you. If it's for you, then let it be for you. Okay. Let me just get a charm for you guys. Huh. Well. That just makes all the sense in the world that you would get this charm. I'm telling you, my listen, go watch Legends of the Fall. Legends of the Fall. That's a very old 90s uh, Brad Pitt movie. And if you haven't seen it, it's long. It's like three hours. It's, it's a nice, long, western kind of movie. It's a good movie. It's very 90s if you like the 90s. I'm sure you guys have seen it. But there you go. You've got a horse. Perfect. Perfect charm for this reading. Yep. So, this is it. I'm telling you, recognize your Tristan. <laughs> um, so maybe you live out somewhere in the wild, wild west. This is a wild west type of type of energy here, where you have horses, or you ride horses, or you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, somebody could have been born in the year of the horse as well. All right, you guys, gonna leave that message there for you. I'll see you all back here tomorrow. Have a fantastic evening. You Take said care. I was the only one. 
No one likes being like too. You made this mess and left me with the